uh, yeah, I faced uh, both sides of this lovely piece of wood off, and um, of course it's 80 mil thick, which I thought was why well, they didn't think it was going to um, hang on the wall very well. So I've reduced, I've cut another piece and um, marked it all out, and um, zeroed the old machine, ready to go. So this one is um, 40 mil thick. So. Um, Let's see how this goes. the roughing operation over with and uh, of course only a face a mother could love. Okay so let's uh, put the six mil ball nose in now and see what happens. So that's the result of um, the 6mm bull nose cut. Um, you can see there's a, a little bit of fray in here and um, a little bit of coarse cut there. But um, a bit of fray in here too and here. But all in all it's not too bad. So uh, now I've got the 3mm bull nose in and I'm going to be turning the feed rate down a bit. And um, this is in a, an X, Y, so it's going to take two cuts. It's going to do uh, in the X axis first, then it will do a cut in the Y axis. And I'm expecting it probably about um, four hours. So we'll, um, we'll see how it goes. Okay, I hope the camera's picking that up. Um, it's uh, taken off about half, half a millimetre and um, it seems to be doing a really, really good job. Um, of course, um, it is leaving very, very fine lines and when uh, the machine starts cutting in the y-axis, uh, it should get rid of uh, those as well. Right, you'll, you'll notice uh, that even though it's a fine cut, it's still very, very fine um, <coughs> machining max there as it climbs up over that face area. Um, why I've actually run an XY uh, cutting 
uh, program is because when this turns around and cuts in the Y direction, we'll machine all those marks out. That's the, pretty well the main reason. see now that uh, now it's running in the y-axis it's actually taken away the machining marks there Okay, that's uh, the second cut finished, and that took um, all up uh, four and a half hours. But um, the end result is is very, very nice, very smooth. And um, I'm just going to finish just in a couple of little areas with a bit of very fine sandpaper, and that'll be fine. Anyway, the next job now, I've actually changed the tool, uh, put a 12 mil uh, end mill in and now uh, we're going to cut the part out and um, that should end up being a, a very nice part That took about uh, 10 minutes to cut that part out, and um, well, there it is. And that's how it cuts it out. Cuts it all the way through, and uh, of course, just needs um, a little bit of sand in now to finish it off. So, there you go. That's um, nearly there. So there we have a near finished item. Uh, all I really have to do now is vanish it. Um, although it's uh, quite a nice product, I mean you could actually leave it um, as nice, nice wood. But um, I think my wife wants it vanished, so it will be. So until next month. I think that's probably all I'm going to have time to do this month. So, um, from this inventor's workshop, it's um, bye from me.